I did not anticipate that there'd be such a stalwart effort to make sure that the most important thing was that President Biden didn't get anything done. President Joe Biden needs Democrats to win in the 2022 midterms if he wants to move his policy agenda forward. Yet the president's party almost always loses seats in midterm elections. The party in the White House has lost seats in Congress in every midterm except for four in the last 150 years. And polls suggest that voters are disappointed in what President Biden and the Democratic majority have accomplished so far, which doesn't bode well for their 2022 chances. And it's my hope that the 22 election will be a referendum on the performance of the current administration. So what would Republican power in Congress mean? First, Biden's political agenda will be fully halted. He's already had a hard time getting much of his policy priorities passed. Democrats have a narrow majority in both the Senate and House. If they lose even a few seats in 2022, Republicans will take back power and stop Biden in his tracks. Of course, Republicans would then find it difficult to get anything passed and signed by President Biden. This all leads to gridlock on Capitol Hill, which means a whole lot of nothing gets done. The other thing that comes with a new majority is you're able to hold this administration accountable. GOP power in the House also means that Republicans will be in charge of investigative committees and may follow through on a slew of probes they've been threatening on Biden's son Hunter, the White House's handling of the southern border, Biden's withdrawal from Afghanistan, and shutting down the January 6th committee. Some far-right members have even said they would try to launch impeachment proceedings against the president. In short, Republicans taking control of Congress in 2022 would make the final two years of Biden's first term in office as painful as possible for Democrats.